Assalamu alaikum student and bismillahir rahmanir rahim as you know that we previously discussed the concept of equilibrium that how equilibrium is established we defined as equilibrium is the point at which the rate of forward reaction and rate of reverse reaction becomes equal then we will say, say that at equilibrium has been achieved but today we are going to discuss the certain conditions that are required for equilibrium if we change, change the these concentrations the equilibrium could not be established now what are these conditions the first condition that is the most required for the establishment of equilibrium is concentration of none of the reactant or product is changed iska matlab ye hai ki kisi bhi point par aap uski concentration change nahi kar sakte the quantity that you in the, in the, that you take initially in the start of the reaction must be the same at the end of the reaction none of the concentration will be changed neither of the reactant nor of the product aap uski concentration ko change nahi kar sakte ho na hi aise kar sakte ho ki jaise product banna start hui aap product ko saath saath skim drop start and karna start kar do to aise uski equilibrium disturb ho jata hai so the first condition is the concentration of none of the reactant or the product is changed now what's the second condition the second condition is that the temperature of the system is kept constant if you change the temperature then the, the equilibrium may disturbed it may not be established for example there is a reaction that is occurring at about room temperature and whenever you increase the temperature it may get disturbed and the equilibrium could not be established similarly the value of pressure and volume of the system must be kept constant if you change the pressure maybe the direction of reaction changes similarly change in volume disturb the reaction so all these conditions must be fulfilled for the establishment of equilibrium if you disturb any of these condition the whole equilibrium will be disturbed your equilibrium constant will be disturbed next we are going to um, identify the ways to recognize equilibrium that how can you recognize that equilibrium has been achieved or not for this it can be determined for by determining the concentration of the reactant and product like how you how you came to know that equilibrium has been established wo aapko tabhi pata chalta hai jab aapko reactants aur product ki concentration pata hogi har regular interval mein और जब आपके पास दोनों की कंसंट्रेशन सी कॉन्स्टेंट आना शुरू हो जाती है तो आप कहते हो कि इक्विलिब्रियम अचीव हो चुका है और अब आपको कंसंट्रेशन कैसे पता चलती है उसके लिए आपके पास ये दो तरीके हैं फिजिकल मेथड और एक केमिकल मेथड फिजिकल मेथड में स्पेक्ट्रो मीट्री आ जाती है स्पेक्ट्रोफोटोमीट्री आ जाती है कि आप उसके अब्जॉर्ब मैयर करना स्टार्ट कर देते हो केमिकल मैथड में टाइट्रेशन आ जाती है बट दैट इज़ नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन योर सिलेबस यू मस्ट नो दैट हाउ यू कैन रिकगनाइज द इक्विलब्रियम you can recognize the equilibrium by determining the concentration at regular interval by physical method or by chemical method so next we move towards the equilibrium constant and its units from the law of mass action we derived the kc and we and we noticed that the equilibrium constant is equal to the concentration of the product with the uh, concentrated concentration of the reactants so here how you know the unit of the kc the kc unit may or may not have units sometime it has no unit sometime it has a unit of mole per dm cube sometime it may also have a unit of mole square dm minus 6 so it depends upon the reaction that what that in that uh, how many reactants and how many products how many number of moles of reactants and products are present let's see first example h2 plus i2 gives you 2 hi so you write the kc expression hi and h2 and o2 we must know that concentration unit is always mole per dm cube we put the unit in, in the place of that concentration so as you know that in this reaction there are two moles of hi so two moles of mole per dm cube and two moles of mole mole per dm cube one of hydrogen and one of oxygen is present and overall they cancel the effect and there will be no unit 